Hello and welcome back to a new installment on Monumental Victory. As always, Rock here, and welcome to a new map that people, a lot of people and myself have been looking forward to for a while. Uncharted Territory 3 by Amlop himself. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm excited, excited. Um, so, we are playing the beta version, um, version 1, beta version, whatever it is, uh, of the map. And so we'll be, it's going to be similar to the way we did Inferno Mines, where we're going to be going through giving um, beta feedback for the map and uh, enjoying ourselves, really. That's the biggest thing, is having a lot of fun. Where'd that item frame go? Come here. You need to go back right here. All right, let's take a look at this book. Additional rules by Amlip. Map-specific rules. One, you may breed... Purify villagers. Oh, that's nice. However, you may only use emeralds obtained from uh, bred purified villagers for cosmetic purposes and trading with other player purified villagers. Um, okay. Um, you may not uh, pick up, place, craft, break, or move ender chest. Okay. You may otherwise interact with pre-placed ender chest. Uh, just to be clear, you may not use the map ceiling to sequence break this map. This counts as leaving the map boundaries and is cheating. I won't leave chest on the ceiling. Uh, you may disable clouds recommended. Do I have clouds disabled? Clouds. Clouds off. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so we're going to move. start moving around and trying to figure out where the hell we're going. Oh, there's stuff here. Um, there's a chest here. Let me grab this chest first. Come here. You're gonna make us work. Is, is that how it is, Amlip? Can't have can't have nice things. Okay, some some starting food, some starting tools. Um, sharpness one. Ooh, that's good. Efficiency four. Unbreaking seven. Oh wow. Amlip, you're you're such a kind and generous person. Bam. Hello. This map is dedicated to Vex, Rock, Proxy, Cater, Rosie, Etho, Runes, and all the LPers out there, YouTube followers. Thank you for being great friends and inspirations for helping to get my map out there and putting up with the long delays. Ah, Energy drink. Ah, yes, the energy drink. Yeah. No problem, Mr. Amlup. You are a good friend. And your maps are great. I really enjoy them. Um, I know we had a lot of fun when we played Uncharted, Ter Uncharted Territories 2 on a live stream. And hopefully we can get him to uh, join us again in another live stream because it was, it was actually really fun. Now... In just to be sure, with a, uh, it, it seems that a majority of uh, map makers like to put something in the center type area under the first block, and let's see if Emma is the same. I'm disappointed. I was really hoping there'd be something down there. Just a chest, some random crap, a piece of paper that says "lol," something. I was hoping. Um, area overgrown hollow. Okay, so we do we did see. Um, oh, this axe is gonna go places. I tell you that. Um, we did see. Um, there was a couple pathways up here. This is something that we're gonna need to look into when we get the opportunity. But I don't for. Uh, we need a pick really. Um, once we get a pick, I think we can start getting into. Well, that's cobble though. How many pieces of cobble is that? Two. Damn it. Let's do it. Um, let's get some. Let's get a workbench. Okay. Let's get some sticks we don't need. Ha 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 ha. Get that. Let's grab this cobble here. Of course, it's two pieces because Amlip, in his infinite, infinite kindness, it's only given us two pieces of cobble. Is there any any other cobble anywhere? Please? Please? 
Let's see if we can find another couple pieces of cobble. Another piece. A couple pieces, maybe. Hint. Don't waste time trying to get a sapling. Uh, that would have been hilarious if that first piece just broke and gave us a sapling. How about wasting my time to get apples? Is that acceptable? Um, okay, well, he, in his Emlip's infinite kindness, he uh, gave us two pieces of cobble. So we're not making a cobble pick yet. And I don't foresee an easy, necessarily an easy way to get up here. No. Without kind of mining through there and get up there. I'll come back here later and go up there. Um, I'm sure there's stuff up there that we'll want to get at some point. But for now, I'm quite content with not worrying about going up there just yet. So let's keep going through and investigating as we're going. Snagging all of the goodies, all of the stuffs. And, uh... Oh! Ah! Hi! Okay. We found our first enemy. We're gonna want to... Take out this... Spawner. Bam. Okay, there's a spawner over there, too. Okay, zombie flesh. This is going to be good for when we run out of food. Um, assuming we do. Emil might be kind enough to give us food. But let's just, just dispose of these spawners. Oh, damn it. I messed up. Fucked up. They're perfect. This is a, this is a, this is a, this is a nice looking area. I, I, I like the look of it. Oh, mushrooms. I know you're giving these to us for a reason. So let's snag these. Because I'm sure we'll get brown mushrooms in due time as well. Oh, wait, never mind. This is that, um, the area we saw down there. Haha! -ha. So he probably has this, like, a spiral upwards. And that we're gonna see all these areas that we saw down there. That we wanted to, uh, get up to. But we didn't have the resources to do. Brilliant. Brilliant, I do say. I'm gonna snag all of these red mushrooms. Because it's... We're bound to find... Oh! Bound to find the, um... Some brown mushrooms or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bam. I like this. I like it so far. It's good. Um, let's numb on this, and then get some of this, actually, use this. That's going to give us a much better saturation value than the, uh, the melons are, and, uh, ow. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's one thing. We're going to have to, uh, uh, take into consideration the, uh, the new hunger system. As we're playing in 1.6.2, the way that hunger works now, let me, oh, hey. Um, the way hunger works now is that it, I don't, I don't know 100% of how the hunger works now, but in general, it, um, uh, it cons, or not the hunger, yeah, the, the damage versus hunger, it consumes, the, re regening consumes hunger a lot faster now, um, or it consumes hunger now versus, um, that it didn't before, so we're gonna have to be fairly careful with the damage, the damage that we take so that we uh we don't have to kind of be in a shitty situation beat this up get that out Let's throw this down here you you okay still looking for more cobble we need one more piece <gasps> no that's a fence that's a fence rocks that's that's not a cobble cobble fence not quite a fence um okay looks like we have few directions we can kind of go. We have a lot of red mushrooms still, uh, which is, I'm going to nab the crap out of these. Ah, uh, nope. What was on the sword again? Sharpness one. Oh, and the sword's about to go kaput. Um, I think that two cobble that we had is going to have to turn into a sword. 
because we're still looking for that cobble. Um, also, if you do hear a bit of a fan buzzing-ish thingy in the background, that is, in fact, in fact, my uh, my computer going completely crazy. Um, it's fairly hot here right now, and I have my my main fan turned off because of it would be noisy as shit for you guys, and so my computer's just going crazy. So I apologize for that, but you're gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. Hmm. Can I have you? Please? Thank you. Thank you kindly. I hear them. Are you in here? Oh shit. Um. Oh. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, so we need, let's grab our workbench down. Let's make that cobble sword that we mentioned before. Bam. Take this back. And let's peek in here. Oh, damn. Hello. Golden sword, smite three, bane brother. Oh, that's pretty damn good. That's This is like all good stuff. All of it. Every, every single ounce of it is deliciously delicious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um what's on this helmet protection too we'll hold on to you for now we'll put you on when we have the chance some damaged pants thanks um yeah this is good stuff good stuff i approve we have a new sword now so we're good with that um i wish i knew because <laughs> i wouldn't have made this cobble sword i would just use that gold sword but there's only so much you can do. Hey, guy. What a guy. What a guy. Um, we have a bit of mushrooms over here. Let's try to grab those. We're bound to find some brown mushrooms at some point. We can make a couple bowls or something and just nom on that. But let's investigate or investigate around. Um, it looks like we probably could get up. It looks like we could get up that way right there. Um, let's go... I guess let's try to go with the intended pathway and um, go around this 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 way over here. There we go. I thought I heard some skeleton clacking, clanking. This is good. I like it so far. This is good. Ah, it's a good start. Lots of food. Lots of tools. It's a bit of gear. This is good. This is the way. It's the way I like it. Nope, 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 nope. Now I do I do know we have that cobble pick, but we'll uh we'll save that for now. Ooh, wow. We're getting a lot of good stuff. Yeah, I love it. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna take advantage and use the shitty stuff first. And then we'll kind of go in and use the um, the better stuff. Uh, do, 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 do. Cookies. Okay. Mm. Oh Jesus! No! Is that a creeper spawner? Or is that a random creeper? No, okay, that's that's a that's totally a zombie spawner. Or. Hi. Stop it. Stop! Okay. We're keeping these axes the best we can, or not the axes, the torches the best we can because we don't really have a lot of resources at the moment. And this area is fairly well lit, so we don't necessarily need all these torches, or we don't really need to necessarily torch around. Um, so I think in the. Ooh, potato. That's gonna be really good. Uh, we could set up a base and set up a little farm with the potato or something. But I think in the grand scheme of things, um, it's best that we keep our torches to ourselves. Oh, wow, a second potato. Oh, there's definitely a spawner down there. In the grand 
grand scheme of things. I think it's best that we keep these torches to ourselves and um, save them for kind of when we actually need them. We don't. I don't think we necessarily need them right now, but... Is there anything under here? No. Okay. It's always good to double check. Okay, spider spawner. Come at me. No. Wow, lots of spawners here. Spider. Oh, okay, spiders do. No! No! I don't want to die! Uh, 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 uh. Oh. oh god, that was close. That would have been embarrassing. I don't want to die this early in a map. Amleth would have shook his head violently at me. Um, let's put these on the bar. Amleth would have been, just messaged me with a dot 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 and went, Really? You died that early? What a baddie. And I would have went, yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really bad at Minecraft. And then he would have laughed, and I would have cried. So let's try doing that. Let's do our best to play, to keep our aggressive playstyle that we, we so dearly enjoy, as well as to, um, to not die that much. Uh, I would quite enjoy not dying. And speaking of not dying, I might put up a death counter. Um, do I have, oh, I don't have access to, oh, okay. I might do that off camera. I might, um, uh, I might give us a death counter, or heroic dreams counter that we, um, uh, we, uh, we typically use on live stream. I don't know, it's just, it's something about heroic dreams. It makes it feel less like a failure when uh, you die. Like, yeah, look at that. I'm quite a dreamer. I'm like Martin Luther King or something. The dreamer. Not quite, but you know, you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay, so we did torch this up. So this should help with getting rid of these spawners. I'm gonna... Oh, do you have an iron sword? Can you drop it for me? Damn it. You stingy bastard. No! Okay, spider! Damn it. Rage spiders! You get caught up in the case spiders! Rage spiders! Rage spiders! This new hunger system is gonna be a bit uh a bit awkward, I think. Though we are eating melons anyway, so it's not like it's not awkward. Holy Jesus. Um uh, oh, so much good stuff. I'm gonna have to pace myself like I did in um, Inferno Mines, cause like Inferno Mines, I was like, oh my god, so much good stuff. I just need to need to have all of it. Urgh. And it came down to a point where it's like, I don't really need all of this. Why am I why am I you grabbing all of it? What do we not need from this bunch of saplings? I don't think I'm gonna need. Golden apple will take. Okay. I just I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pace myself with taking stuff because I'm gonna assume Amleth is gonna be uh, generous in the map and give us the appropriate loot that we need. So keeping that in mind, I'm gonna have to probably be con uh, very considerate about what I can snag and what I don't. Okay, something that way. Some more red mushrooms. Let's investigate around the edge here. Ugh. Oh, creepers and zombies. Creepers and zombies. Oh my. So yeah, I'm gonna have to be, I think, fairly considerate about what I grab, as we don't necessarily have a lot of space, inventory space. Grab all this. Okay, apparently I have a stack of red mushrooms. Yep, okay. Let's get over here real quick, drop off this. Oh, there's another spawner over there, too. Man, if anything, we're going to have a ton of levels. How awesome would that be if he gave us an enchanting table? I 
Nice level 30. <laughs> nice level 30 cobble item. That would be pro. Too pro. Um, okay. Anything else over in this area? We got this little bit. A little touch of cobble. We'll check in that pool in a second. Let's grab this cobble first. Really, really, with a start like this, you want to grab as much resources as you can, um, and then kind of secure it after you grab the resources. Um, that way, you kind of set yourself up for a good situation. And okay, that looks like it's just a ambient light. As far as we can tell, it looks like an ambient light. Hello? Okay, we got this chest already, right? Okay, good. Perfect, perfect. I think we're all set with this upper area right here. I think we can continue on into that, that tunnel we did see. Uh, moving on into the next part section. Maybe intersection one. Um, we want to be a bit careful for traps in the such... Oh, uh, like that would have been a shitty trap to fall into. Um, now the question is, is there anything down there? Let's let's peek over here first. Um, of course, eating. I think this might be leading to intersection one. I heard a spider. Is that a cave spider? What kind of spider are you? What faction of spider are you? Are you Alliance or are you Horde? Okay, you're Horde. Because Alliance are dick. They'd be cave spiders. That's right, I said it. Yeah, down you go. Um, we got this pillar thingy up here. Let's try to get up and around. We're running out of food here soon. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, nope. Okay. Um, I do want to see what's down here. Can Is there a pathway all the way down? Oh, there is. Bam. Get some. Ah. Uh, it's just a creeper spawning here down here. I was really hoping there was actually something down here too. Joke's on me. Oh, we're running pretty low on our food right now. Uh, I'm hoping that we find some dirt. Dirt would be really good so we can start getting some potatoes going. Um, that's silverfish, damn it. I was really hoping. Really, really hoping. Um, I see a chest there. That looks like some type of, I guess, quote-unquote name chest. I'm not sure how Amlet's doing name chest in um, this map. But it looks like a potential way that he might be doing them. Get out of here. I saw that guy spawn. That guy, okay, there's there's got to be some spawners around. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No, 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 Actually, we can just use this. Oh, yeah. Oh. You bastard. Let's see if we can get up right about here. Right here. Oh, there's a spawner there. Oh, there's a spawner here. No, 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 no. Spawner over there, too. We'll grab that when we have the opportunity. Lacerator. Oh, the lactator. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, so on the live stream, um, when Amlet played with us, we found the Lacerator. But uh, one of my buddies who was playing with us at the time called it the Lactator, and I didn't know any better. Um, 
because I didn't see the item and I assumed it was the lactator and I kind of called it as such and then I actually saw it and I was like oh was this lacerator and then it kind of just stuck throughout the stream um, we called it the lactator or instead of the lacerator so this is the lactator level one and as thus I will be calling it the lactator throughout the uh, throughout the series right here so enjoy an amlop I'm gonna be calling it the, lact the lactator and I'm sure you expect just as much from from me. But yeah, lactator. What is it? sharpness one, knockback one, fire sweat one. Um, we'll keep that for now. That will be good for um, if we set up some type of farm. Maybe um, it's pretty much a infinite durability weapon that we can use to kill mobs. No. Hopefully this cobble, uh, this wood pick wears out, wears out fairly soon because I would like to switch over to the cobble pick. And then after that, I don't, I don't really know. Um, yeah, we're not. Well, way to not look at us and punch us in the face. Being of arthropods, one and breaking. Okay. Overall. Awesome sword. For low level awesome sword. GG. <laughs> Get some! Get some! So, ooh. A lot of baddies over here. I think we're gonna get to the first intersection and then we'll call it an episode. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll get to the first intersection. Okay, where's the light? There's gotta be some. Were those just natural? Ah! Natural skeletons. Man, this potato, uh, this uh, this food situation is a bit rough. Um, let's start numbing on these zombie flesh. Um, hopefully that will get us to where we need to be. Um, really, we just need to find a, a touch of dirt and we can... We have bones, right? We have a bunch of bones. We have potatoes. Um, really, we just need a touch of dirt and we can start making some an infinite source of food, essentially. Um, or, oh, baby zombie? Oh, I see you over there. You little cute bastard. Um, we essentially just need a touch of dirt and we can kind of get ourselves an infinite source of food. But it's just finding that piece of dirt that we're gonna. It's probably gonna have to. We're gonna have to fight tooth and nail to get. Um, I'd like to go up there as well. That looks like a very um, suspicious looking area. The same with down there. Down there looks very suspicious too. Let's go up first um, and then we'll go. Ah! We'll go down. And um, we'll, we'll check out that after. But first, let's avoid this skeleton that's shooting at us and go up to this top area. Oh, this zombie flesh is going to be shitty as hell. Yeah, this looks like, definitely, definitely looks like something up here. Let's get up here and investigate. There's probably going to be a chest of a whole bunch of good stuff in it. If I had to guess. Oh, there's a sign. GG, nothing up here. Good luck. You can just about make out the words. Did you really expect to find loot up here? What could that mean? You son of a bitch. Wait. Aha! Ha ha ha! Nice try, you bastard. Oh, Jesus! Orange! We'll block that off for a second. On breaking ten wooden hoe. Wow! Wow! Amlop, you bastard. You bastard. Uh, let's go up to the spawners and see if there's anything up here. Um, my guess, best, best guess, I'm, I, I, I think there's going to be something up here. Oh. 
Hold on. What kind of bastard comment that it is it gonna leave us? Sorry, just spawning space. But at least you know I consider giving you loot here, right? You bastard. Bastard! Oh, I am a... He's gonna watch this and laugh, but hey, sticks. Sticks for loot. Sure, we'll take you. <laughs> it's loot! <laughs> it's considerably good loot. <laughs> it's not. It's not good at all. Oh, let's go down. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a lot of skeletons here. No, no, no. At least you were you considered it, and then completely shot it down and said no, and laughed, and laughed. You looked at it and went, I could give them something. But you know what? Screw them. Screw them. And then we weeped. Thousands of players weeped as they looked at that area and went, there's no loot up here? Amlop, why? Amlop, no, Amlop, why? Um, there's a pillar there. Oh, brick. Brick means good. Brick me, it's a good thing. Good things. Good thing, bricks. Nope. Good guy, bricks. Hello. You are definitely good stuff. Some raw good stuff, but good stuff. What do we not need that we get rid of? Mossy. Bricks are useless. Gravel's useless. This clock is useless. We're going to get to it uh, later in the map. And we're going to find a trader that's trading for one clock for the best weapon in the game. And we're going to weep openly. This is going to be an open weep. And you guys will laugh. And I'll be crying. Because I left the clock all the way at the beginning of the map. Alright. Where do you lead? Intersection 1? Yeah! Perfect. So welcome to Intersection 1, Overgrown Hollow, Dusky Grove, Desolate Blast Foundry, Tower of Light. Ooh, this is exciting. Let's take a look at this real quick and then we'll call it an episode for today. Brandis is a baked potato and a stick. Oh, there was two. Two there. I don't have... I don't have space for any of this! Holy Jesus! Um... Oh, there's so much good shit in here. Um... Oh, God. Oh, so much stuff. And a bed. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we found our home. Yeah. Alright, so I think with that, we'll call it an episode for today. Is anything up here? Oh. Of course. Just that. So with that, we'll call it an episode for today. Um, as always, if you, or if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or feedback, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. And as always, this is Rock. I'll catch you guys next time.